When an eagle suddenly snatches a little boy, his parents are shocked, but the reason behind it surprises them even more. It was a very special day. They usually didn't get a lot of time to be together, but this day was different. They were very relaxed. Daniel, the dad, found some free time and decided to spend it with his family. He spent the afternoon with his wife, Emily, and their little boy, Oliver, who was just learning to walk and was exploring the garden. His parents sat on the soft grass, holding drinks with snacks on a blanket beside them. It was really nice, but something unexpected was about to happen. As Oliver went into the tall grass, he bent down to look at some colorful wildflowers. He had no idea something surprising was about to happen. Suddenly, a huge eagle came down from a tall tree and took the little boy. His parents couldn't believe it. Before they could do anything, the eagle flew up with their child. The parents ran towards them. They were worried. How could they stop the eagle from taking their little boy? The eagle was still flying quite low, but it could go higher at any moment. What if it let go when they were too high? It was really scary. What made it even scarier was that they knew this eagle. The situation was really frightening, and everyone was unsure of what would happen. The parents were really worried about Oliver's safety and couldn't understand why the eagle did this. A few years before, the family had met this eagle in a strange way that they would always remember. Daniel was concerned that something he was proud of might have put his child in danger. His family had lived on their farm for many years, and after spending a long time in the city, Daniel was happy to come back home after finishing his studies. The idea of being in the open spaces again was exciting, especially with his young wife. His parents were getting ready to retire and wanted him to take care of the farm. Daniel had big plans for making the farm even better for the future. But for now, they were enjoying the present. He took his wife, Emily, rock climbing on the cliffs on their land. Most of the land was used for farming, but what Daniel loved most was the freedom he felt among the cliffs, surrounded by the peaceful scenery and fresh air. It was an amazing experience. Even doing chores on the farm was special for Daniel. One day, while they were checking the fences near the river on their property, Emily, who was off from work, brought lunch for them to share. While they were setting up, Emily suddenly called out, seeing something strange in the bushes on the other side of the river. At first, Daniel thought it might be a really big fish until he saw a struggling form in the water. It was a creature with wings, which was really surprising to see in the river. Daniel took off his shoes and approached slowly. He really wanted to get a better look. It was a big bird, but he wasn't sure exactly what kind. He was determined to save it. It was stuck in a mess of branches, fishing lines, and even a piece of net. Getting it out was much harder than he thought, and he had to be really careful to not hurt it more. The stuff had probably come down the river and trapped this poor bird. The easiest thing would be to lift the whole thing up so they'd have room to get the bird out slowly. Even though it was caught in the branches, Daniel thought he could do it with some help from the young eagle. The bird could still move a bit, but its beak was a danger. Each time he tried to lift it, the bird resisted, so Daniel had to be really careful. The weight of the branches and dodging the beak made it even harder. So he followed Emily's idea and covered the bird's head with his shirt. This seemed to calm the bird enough to get it out of the water. Finally, Daniel could swim back to the other side with the eagle. With Emily's help, they started to carefully untangle the bird. They wanted to make sure not to hurt it, and it was much easier with the shirt covering its head. Finally, they succeeded, and they set Phoenix free. But even though Phoenix was free, he didn't look very good. His wing was bent funny, he was missing some feathers, and one of his claws seemed hurt. They couldn't let him go in this condition, he needed help. They were very careful with him, using the shirt to support his injured wing and gently putting him in a basket Emily had brought. They wanted to make sure he didn't move too much and make his injuries worse. 
They took Phoenix back to their house and called a vet who knew a lot about animals. Since there wasn't a wildlife shelter nearby and Phoenix was in bad shape, they decided to take care of him themselves. The vet told them how to feed him and even gave them vitamins to help him get better. They kept him in a small cage for a while to keep him from moving too much. They used chopsticks to give him food without touching him. It was a bit hard because of his hurt claw, but eventually, Phoenix figured out how to eat with it. His wing was still a problem because he couldn't move it much. Then, something unexpected happened. Birds are really good at hiding when they're sick, which can be a big problem when they do get sick. The vet had warned Daniel and Emily, so when Phoenix didn't want to eat, they acted quickly. Even though Phoenix was used to them, he was still unsure about the vet. They had to be careful with sedation, which can be risky for any sick animal. They used it to put him to sleep so they could look at him closely. What they found under his wing was surprising. A piece of metal, probably a fishing hook, stuck in his soft skin. It had caused an infection, but his wing had been hiding it. They had to take it out and clean the wound. Phoenix's survival depended on him waking up from the sedation, which took a little longer than expected. With careful attention, he finally woke up, though he was still a bit sleepy. They put him back in his cage to recover. After that, he got better really quickly. The pain seemed to make him less feisty, and there were times when he wanted to be with Daniel and Emily. His wing got stronger, and he could move it more. They didn't want to let him out of the cage right away, so Daniel made a bigger space outside with perches for Phoenix to get used to. After a few weeks, it was time for him to be free. They opened the cage and Phoenix flew out. At first, he went to the tall trees near the house before finally spreading his wings and flying away. It was an amazing sight, seeing him go back to the wild. Daniel and Emily were so proud, but also a little sad. Weeks turned into months and Phoenix kept coming back. He would sit in the tall trees, watching their lives below. Daniel decided to build an artificial eagle's nest in those trees as a way of saying thank you to their sky guardian. It was hard work, but it was worth it when they saw Phoenix settle in comfortably. He was now part of their family story. Then, they got some happy news, a new addition to the family was on the way. Their family was going to get even bigger. When their son Oliver was born, Phoenix was there to welcome them home from the hospital. He sat on lower branches, like he was trying to understand the little bundle in Emily's arms. As Oliver grew, their outdoor adventures became even more special. The ranch, always busy with farming, had an extra bit of happiness with their little one running around. They loved spending time under the trees and taking walks by the river. Phoenix was always there, watching over them. Oliver got better at walking, and they enjoyed every moment together. Even though the ranch needed a lot of attention, they made sure to have time for family. Emily, who wasn't working yet, often brought Oliver to Daniel while he did his chores. Daniel made sure to spend any free time with his family. The open spaces of the ranch made their lives even better. On that wonderful spring day, the sun stayed up for a long time, giving them lots of time in the garden. Oliver, now walking confidently, explored the lawn, while Daniel and Emily relaxed with drinks. When Oliver went towards the taller grass, curious about the wildflowers, something big happened. From the sky, Phoenix came down and grabbed the little boy by his clothes, flying up into the air. Daniel and Emily couldn't believe it. They ran towards them, really worried. Why did Phoenix do this? Their hearts were pounding, and they called out to Oliver and Phoenix. But then, Phoenix changed course and brought Oliver safely back to Emily before landing nearby. Emily held their son, tears running down her face. Oliver was scared but unharmed, making a strange hissing sound, probably from the scary experience. Daniel went back to where they were, and he found a dangerous snake hidden under the wildflowers. If Phoenix hadn't helped, things could have been really bad. Even though Oliver was okay, Phoenix was hurt from saving him. His claws were strained from carrying the extra weight. 
Daniel came closer and offered to help. Surprisingly, Phoenix let Daniel lift him up. They put him back in his big space, and with the vet's advice, they let his claws heal. Phoenix was free to come and go as he pleased. From then on, Phoenix was their protector, always watching over them. Their story was about unlikely friendships and amazing rescues, becoming a part of their lives that they would always remember. What do you think about this amazing story? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time, stay safe.